Well, with dangerously hot temperatures on the way, many people will be headed to local waterways to cool down. Whether you're headed to a lake, river, maybe you're going out to the coast to take a dip in the ocean, there are some potential dangers families need to look out for. So joining us live right now with some safety tips for our local boaters and swimmers is Rick Graves, the public information officer for Portland Fire and Rescue. Good morning. Great, uh, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. Good morning. Absolutely. Uh, it is a great and very important reminder this time of year. Uh, what are some of those top water dangers when it comes to our local rivers that people need to keep in mind? You know, uh, all our rivers, at least within the Portland metropolitan area, look like they're nice and calm and everything's easy, no big deal. But that's there's a lot of water that's pushing downstream. And that water has an incredible uh, forceful power behind it. So you know, never take it for granted. Uh, you want to make sure that when you enter the water, you do so in a safe fashion. Uh, you never want to dive in. Uh, who knows what's going to be underneath the surface of the water that you see. You know, just kind of shuffle your feet in and cool your body off. But if you're going to go swimming, don't do it by yourself. Make sure you have a friend, have a life vest on. You see people jumping in right there at High Rocks. Um, as a former member of the Portland Fire and Rescue Dive Team, I dove underneath there. If you knew what it looked like underneath the surface of the water there, you wouldn't be jumping in. Mm -hmm. So you just can't see what's below the surface. Yeah, good reminder for, for rivers there. When you, you just don't, you can't see how deep it is. You don't know what's there. Mm -hmm. And I think the thing that can be so dangerous, you know, out on the water is things can go wrong so quickly. You know, it can just go from, from everything's fine to a real problem in an instant. So what precautions should parents take, especially with kiddos? Because things really can just go wrong so fast. Well, one, never have them swim without a life vest. Mm -hmm. And with that life vest, make sure it's properly fit. If your child is, you know, below 40 pounds, you'll have a life vest that will have a strap that goes between the legs so the life vest doesn't float up above the head of the individual. Um, and never turn your back on your children. You know, it's real easy to get a uh, false sense of security and you turn and look to your friend and you have a chat and you turn back and you just don't see your child swimming anymore. Uh, we don't have lifeguarded waters here throughout the city. So you're gonna need to take it upon yourself if you choose to go to the waterways. You need to make sure you're, you're maintaining that safe level for your own family. So you enjoy the holiday and get to talk about the great hot July 4th Independence Day of 2023 with wonderful fond memories rather than something tragic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with those temperatures in particular to this holiday, I mean, people are going to be flocking to the water. So it's oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's about mm -hmm. preparation and prevention, not reaction. So that's it's another great, great reminder there. Uh, what about for boaters? So we talked about people jumping in the rivers and lakes. What about for people who are boating on those rivers and lakes? You know, boating takes a license and we have to respect the fact that there's a license and make sure that when you're enjoying the time on the water, you're following the rules and regulations of the body of water that you're uh, that you're on. Uh, be diligent, keep your eyes up, look for things. You may be driving your boat fast. You could hit one of those logs that's underneath the surface of the water that I sort of mentioned that I, I want swimmers to prevent themselves from hitting. But you also have swimmers in the water. Uh, if you're swimming, make sure you swim with a, a tethered buoy behind you so you give the boater an opportunity to see you. Um, man, just be cool. Like, we all want to have fun and cool off, but don't be aggressive towards others uh, with your, your very powerful boat. Um, boats are awesome, but so are the, the kayakers that want to go out and enjoy the water. So are the swimmers. We're all in this to share the time together, particularly tomorrow when people are off work. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your community, enjoy your neighbors, be safe, uh, be respectful of others that are enjoying the body of water that you're within as well. Mm. So real quickly, uh, Rick, are, are Portland Fire and Rescue crews getting ready for a busy holiday weekend? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we appreciate yeah. you and your crews working, uh, working hard over the 4th of July Absolutely. to keep people safe. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thanks for having me. And have a happy 4th. Happy Rick Graves with Portland Fire and Rescue. Thanks for joining us. And for